Welcome back to Devices Setup channel again and today we will learn how to login into Netgear Nighthawk AC1900 EX7000 Extender after installation or how to find EX1000 Extender IP address after setup. So you might want to change your extender's password, username, SSID or maybe you just want to see connected devices or maybe just set up internet access schedule for your kids or even create a hidden network then to do all these you will simply need to login into extenders web management page now it is a bit tricky to login into netgear extender after setup because the router assigns new ip address to the extender due to which the default IP address of the Netgear extender that is 192.168.1.250 might not work. So let's learn how to find extender's new IP address and how to successfully login into it. So first and foremost, you will need to plug your Netgear extender into a wall outlet and wait for its power LED to turn stable. Next, grab any of your phone or computer and go to its settings and then to Wi-Fi there you will see Netgear extender now most extenders have underscore ext suffix in the end so you will need to connect to the network name for example if your router's SSID is Smith family then your extender will be showing up as Smith family underscore 2g ext and Smith family underscore 5g ext now it might be possible during the extender setup you customize your extenders SSID so you will need to connect to that network name once connected open a browser and in the URL or address bar type mywifiext.net and hit enter if that doesn't take you to the Netgear web management page where it asks for username and password then try mywifi ext.local or try 192.168.1.250 so with these you will be able to log in into the netgear login page so the default username and password is admin and password and if that doesn't work then try the username and password which you used while setting up the extender moreover if you can't log in into the netgear web management page with this then you simply just need to download the Netgear Genie software on your Windows or Mac system and then install it. The software link is provided in the description. After installation, open the Netgear Genie software and then go to Network Map option. So there, it will show you all the connected devices to your router. At the center of the map is your router. So now we need to find your extender and its IP address among all these connected devices. Mostly, Netgear Genie software will automatically detect the Netgear extender connected to it. So your extender will automatically pop up into your Netgear Genie app along with its model number. For example, if you are using let's say Netgear EX7000 extender, then in the connected devices, it will come up with EX7000 as device name. Now you just need to click on your extender and note down its IP address. You will need to type this IP address into the URL of your browser to access your extender's web management page. Now if by any chances the extender doesn't come up with its model number on the network map, then you will have to try each of these devices IP addresses one by one into the URL of the browser to find Netgear's web management page. So. You can do that by typing one IP address into the address bar of the browser and then hit enter. If that doesn't take you to the Netgear login page, then try the next IP address and so on. So this is how you can find extender's IP address to login into it by 100% accuracy. But still, if this doesn't work for you, then you can try the second method. Then you can try the second method too where you will have to log in into your router first so you can watch our video here if you don't know how to log in into your router so once logged into the router you will have to look for connected devices tab in your router setting now different routers have different user interface so you will have to look around for this option but most often 
you will be able to find it into your router settings tab. So connected devices tab or client list tab will show you all the devices currently connected to the router and one of them will be your extender. So from there also you can find your extender's IP address that you need to type into the URL of the browser to access the extender's login page. So guys, once logged into the extender, you can make changes onto your extender as per your choice. Be cautious while changing SSID or password because your already connected devices will get disconnected and then you will have to connect them back again to the extender. And by any chances, if you make any changes on the extender and it stops working after that, then need not to worry you can just reset the extender and then reconfigure it back again watch our videos on how to reset this extender and how to set it up too the link is provided in the description moreover we do also provide independent support for different gadgets like printers routers smart tvs roku alexa extender etc so if you need any technical help with any home appliance then you can get in touch with our technician on our official website devicessetup.com. The link is provided in the description. And if the video was useful, then please don't forget to like and subscribe to support my channel. So see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a blessed day.